Okay, so I'm going to be using the single board reel. There's a picture of it here. That's the 9636. And if we go over here, there's the thing itself down there. And the single board reel, you could use the My Reel if you wanted to. I'm just using one analog input, which is connected to this um, oscillator. And the other thing I'm using is this little router down here, if you can see it. It's a little USB device. It's advertised as the smallest router in the world. Let's have a look and see. There it is here. It's the um, 8 by Aces and it's the world's smallest wireless USB router according to the, this information on January 2013. The nice thing about that is you can um, um, transmit uh, data wirelessly and what I'm going to do is have a little program on the um, Rio which is this one here which is more or less taken from the examples um, it's an FFT one it's very similar to the example one except for I've increased the number of points to a thousand and twenty four point FFT there's a real and imaginary parts so there's the FFT here I don't know if you can see it there's the FFT it's a lab view block and then this is a FIFO for the real part and the imaginary part and there's an analog input over here Hamming window or a Hanning window and I'm also writing the raw data point by point to another FIFO called data so I've got three FIFOs data a real F15 imaginary F15 but th these are actually memory I'm writing to here sorry not uh, FIFOs and then in a separate loop, loop I'm taking the memory and writing that to a FIFO um, reason is that keeps uh, uh, all the frames in order so you don't lose anything um, so it doesn't actually write until it's um, got enough elements to, to to do the writing and then that writes it to the host this is our this is the project explorer window host is over here don't mind that. And um, it's got a nice uh, two graphs. Top one is the spectrum, and the bottom one is the time domain. And uh, nothing that special about it. Again, very similar to the to the um, examples. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. Um, run it on this small device here which is the Surface Pro Microsoft Surface Pro and if I change the frequency you'll see that it's transmitting the data wirelessly so uh, there's a spectrum on the top that's just a single sine wave and you can see the sine wave itself I've got it triggered a little bit of software that does the triggering and you can see I'm actually sampling at 20 kilohertz. I could sample much higher. But as I go past half sampling, which is up here, you'll see it begins to alias because I've got no anti-aliasing filter in. And there's an aliased frequency down here. So also illustrates aliasing. So by the way, uh, deliberately got no anti-aliasing filter because I'm just testing out the how to transmit this data. So this is like a standalone little unit which is comes away which is um, the tablet so here's the tablet which I can walk away with monitoring the data in my hand so um, and back there is the oscillator where the data the signals coming from and down there is the FPGA so wireless connectivity a little bit like shared memory but it's much much faster um, you've probably seen data dashboard well, this looks to me to be much better I've actually got 
LabVIEW installed here on the Surface Pro but I could in fact run an executable if I wanted to. There's no reason for me not to do that. Um, light interfering a little bit here with the picture. Well, that's a bit better. Let's just uh, switch the signal generator over to square wave. And here's a square wave. Oops. You can see all the harmonics. So it's a real time spectral analyzer and oscilloscope with an FPGA. And of course, using that small little router which just plugs in here into the Ethernet connection of the compact reel, not the compact reel, the single board reel. Okay, there we have it. Thank you.